Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at, uh, this is CPM course three. This is section 3.1.7, specifically number 3-68. Okay, so I have a, a table that kind of gives some, uh, uh, some of the steps in solving this equation. So it says here, let's read the problem. Paris is trying to solve the equation 3x squared minus the quantity 2x minus 4 equals 3 plus 3x squared plus 1. Her work is partially recorded below. Copy her table and fill in the missing work to solve for x. So let's do that. Let's copy the table so I can go through this process and show you a little clearer what she's got going on here. So we have the left and then the right and then the explanation. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to might put in here. Let's see. So for my first step, it looks like the first step is listed already. So I'm just going to rewrite it so we can see the process minus the quantity 2x minus 4. That's the left side of the equation. And I'm going to go ahead and put the equal sign in there equals 3 plus 3x squared plus 1. And the explanation is that it's the starting. They're saying it's the starting expression. I realize I'm going to be outside of my table here, but you'll be able to read that. So then the next step they've got written is 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. I'm going to still put, I'm bringing the equal sign down, equals 3 plus 3x squared plus 1. And they want to know what is the explanation? What, what occurred right there? Well, if you look at what happened, and I'll show you, it went, it, we had this minus in front of the quantity 2x minus 4. That now, that quantity, that parentheses is gone. So what occurred? That minus has been distributed, right? Remember when we look at a equation, when I'm solving an equation, instead of a minus, I look at it as add the opposite. So really that makes this a negative one in front of that that set parentheses. So I take that negative one and distribute it. And that's why this is now a minus 2x and a plus 4. So that minus or that negative one gets distributed. So really I'll write the, 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 the explanation. It's the distributive property. Okay. Then let's see. The next thing is there is no steps written. But the explanation is to remove 3x squared from both sides. So what, did that, what does that mean? What does that look like, right? So we have a 3x squared on this side and on that side. So what, what happens is if I subtract 3x squared from this side, it cancels. And I, what I do to one side of the equation, remember the equation is uh, needs to be balanced what I do to the other side as well. So what I do to one, I have to do the other. So they actually cancel out. So what would that step look like? What what do they want us to write right here? Would be what's left, which is the negative 2x plus 4 equals a 3 plus 1. Right? So that's removing the 3x squared from both sides. So then the next thing is they have written... They have written um, a negative 2x. So the next thing they've got written is negative 2x and 0. So I'm going to keep the equal sign going. So the negative 2x is 0. So what, what did they do? That's what they want us to write here. What did they do? Well, if I look at this, if I'm going to be solving the equation, what would I do next? I would actually eliminate this plus 4 because I want to get the variable expression, the variable term by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And 3 plus 1 minus 4 is 0. So the step we would write here would be to um, subtract 4 from both sides, right? So that's that step there. And then the next thing they have written down, the next step they say is to divide both sides 
by negative two. That's dividing out the coefficient, right? What does that look like? That looks like taking this negative two and dividing both sides. Why? Because you want to get the x alone, right? So what, what would you write in that? That would be this final step of x equals zero. So what's written is x equals zero after you divide about negative two. And then now we've got our final answer. So that's how the table should be complete.